show you how to connect the hardware components to make a phone using Raspberry Pi and a GSM modem SIM 300. So what we have basically taken is two modules first of all. The first one here which you can see is Raspberry Pi 2 model and this one is GSM SIM 300 modem. First of all I will brief you with the configurations of both the modem. This is Raspberry Pi 2 modem which is a system on chip kind of a microprocessor. It has got, uh, we can say that it is a computer on the chip itself. Uh, it has got four USB 2.0 ports, one Ethernet port right here, one audio output port. Uh, this port uh, is used to connect camera to it. This is the port where you connect, uh, I mean it's called HDMI port and you can connect the monitor to it. This, is, this port is for power supply. This port here is to insert the memory card and these are 40 GPIO pins. So now talking about the GSM modem, we have used uh, SIM 300 for this and uh, we are using IDEA SIM card in this case and uh, now we'll, I'll just show you how to connect both the uh, modules together. You can see three wires here. The first one is the black one which is connecting the ground pin of Raspberry Pi 2 with the GSM module uh, which we are using here. Then uh, the blue wire here, it connects the transmitting pin of Raspberry Pi with the receiving pin of GSM modem and the green wire here uh, connects the uh, receiving pin of uh, Raspberry Pi with the transmitting pin of GSM module. Now I'll show you how to make the connections. First of all, we supply uh, power to both the modules. So this is the desktop of Raspberry Pi. Now we've already set up Raspberry Pi so that it boots up uh, from the memory card. Uh, by default. So what we did was we, uh, we uh, used the official site of Raspberry Pi that is raspberrypi.org and from that we uh, downloaded the ISO image of Raspbian operating system and then by using Ubuntu uh, we installed uh, that particular operating, operating system in our memory card. The entire procedure for uh, uh, writing that uh, operating system to your memory card and uh, to set up that memory card into a Raspberry Pi and also how to uh, boot your Raspberry Pi for the first time. All these tutorials can be easily found online. So now I'll just show you how the various commands or various facilities which are available on this interface. So just like our uh, window screen, we have a menu button here from where you've got so many options. When you go to programming, by default, uh, they have got the Raspberry Pi has got uh, Python uh, installed in it and also Scratch. So there are two versions which you, which you can see here, Python 2 and Python 3. Scratch is like the most ba basic programming language. N then there are some other facilities like Mathematica, Sonic Pi, Wolfram, etc. If you want to play some games, then they provide Minecraft Pi. And uh, if you want to play some Python games, even uh, they are available here. Various accessories are also available, just like uh, windows that is calculator, pdf viewer, terminal, text editor etc. Uh, if you have got some problems uh, with your raspberry pi then you can directly visit this raspberry pi help from here. You have got preferences to just set up your user interface the way you want it to be. Uh, this run is basically used if you want to run some uh, particular program or can we say some file from here then you can use this facility. If you want to access the internet, you can click this icon directly. So this is uh, the default browser which comes with Raspberry Pi.